Hi everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Good Morning Marissa, your positive, empowering, and uplifting news source. Um, today we have some really cute and interesting news and so um, let's just get started. So first I'm going to talk about this super fun lake which was once America's most like polluted and nasty lake and but is now considered clean. And, um, but Vice News still recommends that you just don't really eat the fish. Um, but Onondaga Lake was polluted by industrial companies like Allied Chemicals. Um, but for the past decade, they've spent actually over a million dollars on, um, like restoring it and by doing like water treatment plants and things like that. So, um, they're working on cleaning it up. However, the chief of the Onondaga Nation says there are still lots of toxins in there. And what he's talking about is um, in the fish. <laughs> There's still really high levels of mercury in the fish. And so that's why it's recommended that you don't eat it. But the company Honeywell has made a remediation plan to keep contaminated groundwater from seeping up into the lake. And they've also spent millions of dollars on restoring the vegetation surrounding the lake. And so hopefully over time this becomes a healthier lake to hang out around, to be in. And hopefully with that vegetation they're going to see some growth in their habitat community, which is going to be really interesting to see. So um, next up I want to talk about Jojo the Surfing Corgi. And this story is really cute. It has, it's a little bit sad um, because the reason he started surfing was actually due to um, an accident where him and his mom um, were attacked by these other two dogs in this really, like, really vicious attack. And Jojo was, like, really severely hurt. And so he was rushed to the vet. And part of his healing process was a lot of rehab and part of that rehab was hydrotherapy and so his mom and dad took him to the beach and he started surfing and he found a lot of peace at the water and um he actually ended up being so good at surfing that he won the Purina Challenge Dog Competition and came in third place at Huntington Surf Dog Competition in 2016. I love this story because I love corgis and I just think it's so cute that he like found his therapy and his peace um at the beach and surfing. I just think that's a really sweet story. And finally, the Houston ISD students will be guaranteed a free breakfast, lunch, and dinner for this school year. So Houston is considered actually to be a high poverty area. So low income families can actually fill out a socioeconomic um, like a form and then to determine their eligibility for this free meal program. And so this free meal program is actually made possible by a federal program called the Community Eligibility Provision. And what that does is it reimburses school districts with high poverty rates so schools can hand out free food. And I think this is a really great step forward in fighting um, domestic hunger here in the U.S. and here in our communities. Um, that's something I'm really passionate about. And so it really... I think is an amazing way to ensure that these young students are getting their three meals and then ensuring that they can focus and perform well in school. And that's really important for the future generations of our students here in America. So I thought that was a really awesome step forward that Houston was doing. I've never heard of this federal program before, so I thought that was a really interesting implementation. In, um, implementation <laughs> um, uh, an interesting thing to implement in their community and so yeah that's all I have for you today as always thank you so much for watching um, subscribe to our channel follow our social medias contribute to Matiza magazine or just go check out some of our articles and um, all links are posted below too and we'll see you next time thanks